All right, this is going to be a quick review of scientific notation. In physics, sometimes we deal with really big numbers or really small numbers. And so if we want to talk about something that is billions of miles away, we don't have to or we don't want to be writing like nine zeros after every single thing. It's too many zeros. So um, sometimes we use this shorthand to help us represent really big numbers and really small numbers without having to write a bazillion zeros. And um, that notation is scientific notation. All right, now the basic format of scientific notation is that we've got some number and it gets multiplied by 10 to some exponent, to some power. All right, now the general rules are this number out in front needs to be between 1.0 and 9.999 whatever. Okay, the key idea is there can only be one digit before the decimal point. No point nines, no 10.0, one digit before that decimal point. So that's the number out in front. What the exponent tells us is the number of places we would have to move the decimal in order to get our final number. Okay, now um, if this e is a positive number, that means that this whole thing represent a, represents a big number, some number of hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay? Whereas if we have a negative number here for our exponent, that tells us that this number right here, this whole thing, is an itty bitty number, like point zero 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 one, something like that. All right. So that is the basic idea here. What we need to do basically here is what we're just moving the decimal point over until we end up with a number between 1 and 9.999. And then the exponent here just tells us how many places we had to move the decimal over in order to do that. So let's look at some examples to help us out. Okay. The first two examples we start in standard notation and we're going to try to move into scientific notation. All right. So our first example here, we've got 1,590,000. All right. That's a big number. I'm too lazy to write the zeros. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the decimal point over. So right now there's sort of an implied decimal point back over here. I need to move it until it's after the very first digit. Okay. So that way I'll end up with um, a number that only has one digit before the decimal point like I want. All right, So I'm trying to get my decimal point over here so I end up with 1.59. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I moved it over 6 places. I'm going to just keep, keep track of that. All right, So once I've moved that decimal point over, now my number is 1.59. Much better. Okay times 10 to the something power. Again, that's some exponent. That power right there tells us the number of places we had to move the decimal point. We moved it six places, so we're going to put a six up here. This number is a big number, bigger than one, so that means that our exponent needs to be positive to represent a big number. So we're good just like that. This is our final answer. All right. Now here is another example. Now we've got an itty bitty decimal. We want to put it into scientific notation, so we want to move the decimal point until there is just one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal point, so that we're between 1 and 9.999. So that means we need the decimal point to be right here, so we've got 4.7. All right, now we're going to move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh look, six places again. Okay. So then, now that the decimal point has been moved, my new number is 4.7 times 10 to the, the exponent tells us the number of places, so I moved six places. However, this time I'm dealing with an itty bitty number, so that tells me that my exponent has to be negative. So this number is 4.7 times 10 to the negative 6 power. All right. Now let's do some examples where we're going to move from scientific notation into standard notation. All right. So this one is 6.3 times 10 to the negative eighth power. All right. So I'm going to start by writing 6.3 here. And I know that I need to move this decimal point eight places because that's my exponent right here. All right. 
Now in order to figure out which way to go, I look at the sign. This is 10 to the negative eighth power, so I need this to be an itty bitty number. The way to make it an itty bitty number is to move the decimal point to the left so that I end up with a, a very, very tiny fraction. So I'm going to move it over eight places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, yikes, that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros between the decimal point and the six. Yeah, I like that much better in scientific notation. But if you need it in standard notation, there it is for you. All right, one final example. So now we've got 2.2 .2 times 10 to the fourth power. Sorry, it's kind of blurry, but it is a four. So I'm going to write 2.2 .2 right here. I know I need to move the decimal four places. Since this is a positive exponent, that tells me this is supposed to be a big number. So I'm going to move the decimal point to the right to make it a big number. One, two, three, and four. So that gives me 22,000 as my final answer. So hopefully you remember a little bit better how to convert between scientific and standard notation. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to come see me.